guitar.com and uh, today we're going to take a look at some cool stuff that you guys can do over a nice jazzy two chord vamp so hey before we continue on please take a look at the link down here below in the YouTube text box uh, there's a link for a free video lesson and a corresponding ebook uh, we'll send that to you from nextlevelguitar.com absolutely free a lot of great stuff in there so please check that out and we'll continue on all right first let's take a look at the vamp that we're playing over Basically, we're playing over two minor 7th chords, an A minor 7th and a B minor 7th. And I'll show you guys a couple of ways that you can approach playing those uh, for your rhythm playing. Uh, and then we'll take a look at some of the lead ideas that we, that we played in the intro. Uh, so my A minor 7th is going to be a 4 note chord. And I'm going to play 5th fret, all 5th fret notes on string 6, string 4, string 3, and string 2. So I'm skipping string 5 and I want to deaden that with my index finger. So A minor 7th there and I have a B minor 7th if I just raise that same voicing up a whole step. 7th fret at the 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string. Now if you'd like, you can use just those two voicings to play over. You could do something like this. That'll work for what we're doing today. Or if you want another voicing for the A minor 7th, you can go to this guy up here. Again, we're just playing on string... Uh, string six five or excuse me string six four three and two yeah but this time i'm playing eighth fret on string six seventh fret on string four ninth fret on string three and eighth fret on string two so if we throw the other that's an a minor seventh if we throw that in It's essentially the same two chords and all the ideas that we'll learn today will work over either progression. So first what's really nice when you're playing over this sort of a vibe is to play something nice and melodic uh, in octaves. I think it gives it a nice sort of sound and it really lends itself towards melody playing. Uh, an example of something that I did in the intro here was just to play something like this all in octaves. <laughs> through the octave shapes and then we'll show you that example. The first octave shape is on strings five and three and I'm playing with my index finger and my ring finger on frets seven and nine. This sort of shape or pattern works really well on this string grouping so no matter where you go on this string grouping that fingering is going to work really well. When I move to string grouping four and two, I'm going to go with my index and my pinky finger there on strings uh, four and two. Okay, and then the same concept there, I can move that around across the neck as long as I stay on that string grouping, the octave shape is going to stay the same. up to strings one and three. Index finger and pinky and notice the spread there is three frets. So that's why we use that fingering. So you can play some nice melodic ideas because we're using two fingers here it tends to help us play a little bit slower and uh, that 
I think kind of lends itself towards playing uh, things are a little bit more melodic. So here was our example here, starting at seventh fret, uh, fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, fourth string, tenth fret, fourth string, and walking back down, ninth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth fret, seventh, and finally back to where we started. All together. And just with those octave combinations, you can kind of experiment and create some of your own melodies just by changing up your phrasing a little bit. one on the end. When you're playing these octave shapes, you have a couple of different options uh, with your attacking hand. You can either pick them or you can play them with your thumb. Either way is going to work and it's just kind of about finding your style and the sound that you like more. The thumb kind of gives you a little bit warmer of a sound the pick gives you a little bit more attack. So you can kind of, you know, see what you like best and, and apply that. Either way that you do it though, you want to make sure that you're muting that in between string uh, with your index finger. You want to make sure that string in between your octave shape is deadened so that we're only hearing the sound of the octaves there. After you've established a nice sounding melody, sometimes it's good to kick into some lead licks. And so I want to show you guys a couple of uh, cool little hybrid boxes that you can use to play some lead ideas over this type of progression. Um, we're going to take a look at, just to keep them bite sized, they're going to be only on strings 4, 3, 2, and 1. And what they are is sort of a blended scale uh, between a blues scale and a Dorian mode. So I'll show you guys two boxes that you can have fun with playing lead over the top of this progression. My first one is going to start here on the 7th fret, 4th string. And I'm going to think about being in 5th position here. So index finger on the 5th fret, middle finger on 6, ring finger on 7, and pinky finger on 8. Everything I'll play in this first box, uh, no stretches. Um, everything stays nice and in position. So starting on the seventh fret, fourth string. bite-sized box that you can use for your lead playing. Sometimes when you give yourself less choices, it forces you to come up with more creative ideas. Let's take a look at some examples of some licks that we can play with that box. stuff with uh, you know some some tension tones going on in there from the Dorian scale so um, we'll take you through a couple of the examples there one of the things that I like to do is start at the root work my way up to the fifth of the scale so just starting from right there seven five seven eight five now coming back I'm going to slide from my eighth fret into my seventh fret here. Another thing I like to do is to slide into some of those foreign notes, those notes that we're not used to using in our blues playing, but that come from our Dorian scale. So sliding into uh, some of those Dorian scale notes. 
Kind of gives it a hi, how are ya? Didn't expect to see you there. And that's just working my way up that scale pattern that I showed you, sliding into that note, that seventh fret, second string down. Same concept, but now sliding into the seventh fret of the first string, or the ninth of the scale. For a little context here. Another box that you can use, same concept, same scale shapes here, um, but a different position. We're going to be looking at playing the same idea in the fourth position. So index finger on the uh, fourth fret, middle finger on the fifth, ring finger on the sixth, pinky finger on the seventh, and we'll see that we're going to include a stretch here. Our index finger will reach out and grab a note on the third fret. So. I'm going to be starting at the same place, this time with my pinky finger on the 7th fret, and here is my scale shape. Why learn a different position for the same scale? Well, it's going to give you more choices, and it's going to lead you down some different paths than your normal boxes, so it's always good to have options. Some things that we can play with this box over our same progression. Okay, so immediately because of the position that I'm playing in, I have access to some hammer-ons and pull-offs that I don't in the other position kind of gives us, again, more options. That's what it's all about. Okay, so there you have it. Nice two chord vamp, kind of a jazzy, bluesy sort of thing, uh, and some cool ideas that you guys can use on top. So I hope you guys learned a lot from today's lesson. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to head on over to the website too, nextlevelguitar.com. What you see on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. We have over a thousand different video lessons there on Next Level Guitar. And uh, they're for players of all styles, all ages, all skill levels, beginner all the way up through advanced. So uh, please check us out over there, and we'll see you back here next time. Notes, those notes that we're not used to using in our blues playing, but that come from our Dorian scale. Crash day. <laughs>